We go to a supermarket and we buy the cheapest item from every single aisle. I did not expect to find that. This is my favourite aisle. These might be the key to the cheaper prices. Might have hit the jackpot here. What's happening, Free Gang? We are coming to you live. But not live. From our home, back in London, after our mini trip. How is everybody doing? Let us know where you are coming live, but not live from in the comments below. Now, you lovely Free Gang are always giving us awesome suggestions for videos. Yes, and one suggestion that keeps coming up again and again is that we go to a supermarket and we buy the cheapest food item from every single aisle. And we think that that is a great idea. And so we are doing that today. We have no idea what this food haul is gonna look like. Yeah, or how much it is going to cost. So hopefully we'll get a wide range of products and at the same time find out what the cheapest products in the supermarket actually are. But to make it more fun, we're gonna set a little challenge between ourselves of who can get the closest to whatever the total cost of this haul will be. I'm gonna start with about 17 pounds. Is that all? Are you gonna go high? Don't just be stupid and say 17.50. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna say 25. Okay. And comment below what you think we're gonna spend. Bearing in mind, we're going to Sainsbury's. Yeah. So that might give you an idea. The reason we're going to Sainsbury's is because they have so many aisles at this particular Sainsbury's that we're going to. Yeah, so this should be a lot of fun. Let's get it underway. So guys, the way this is gonna work, we're gonna go to each aisle and get one item per aisle, but this is only the food aisles. Please. So no household items, no stuff or toys, guys. Just food. Yes, and obviously as with farm base, it means we won't be going down the meat aisle or the alcohol aisle, no drinks either. They're normally the most expensive things anyway, True. so that doesn't matter. Oh, Jojo, how much do you think we're gonna spend? Every single aisle, um, okay, I'm gonna go for 35 pounds. Oh, okay. Ooh, 35, wow. Ooh. We'll see. First aisle, guys, some fruit and veg. Oh, reduced Juice items. So okay. 119. So we've, I think we've got we'll, to do a lot of scanning. Yeah, I think we'll find something cheaper. And there's also ones which have got a red label on as well, where it's reduced. Okay. Also, make sure to look at the club card price or next price, whatever. Good point. Yes, we do have a next card, so for example, we would get it for 90p. Oh, so that is our cheapest item so far. Herbs looking cheap, 52p. Oh no, garlic. wait a minute. 24p for garlic. Grab that, that's got to be the cheapest. Oh, surely, 24p? Yeah, that's got to be the cheapest. 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 Yeah, so something to consider is the end bits of aisles. Should we just count this as like the first aisle? Yeah. Sure. Because a lot of these will be on offer, but none of this is more, less than 24p. Okay, on to the next aisle. Sweet. Audi price match stuff. So this could be some cheap stuff. 65p carrot, 62p swede. It's good that they do price matching. Oh, we might have a winner here, 45p. 45p for a bag of carrots. Okay, let's keep looking. We could find cheaper. I reckon like with the garlic the small veg might be the sort of thing that's cheapest yeah so we won't include the ones that you have to weigh we'll just include the ones that have a set price yeah like what we're seeing what have you found i found this cabbage 67 p oh we found some carrots over there 45 p mm -hmm. i think that might be the cheapest okay let's do it it's a kilogram of carrots for 45 p pretty decent so some of the bigger veg potatoes and root vegetables Definitely not going to be the cheapest, I don't think. Onto the third aisle. This is mostly fruit. So 90p bananas, 55p for spring onions. Again, this is an Audi price match. These might be the key to the cheaper prices. Kiwi is 30p per one kiwi. Yeah, okay. There might be smaller fruit, which is cheaper, like an apple. This might mean no easy peeler bags for you, Jojo. Oh. 30p for a lemon or 30p for one easy peeler what do we do if it's joint 24p for a lime oh dear 
lime. The lime has stole the show. I shouldn't have mentioned it. Then I could have got myself an easy peeler. No! And there's only one left. It's destiny. Yes. So just checking the rest of the fruits just in case. 35p for an individual apple. You're definitely not going to get a melon that's cheaper. So yeah, it's got to be the lime. The lime wins. But this is where we're going to be skipping a lot of aisles because none of these are food. Skip, 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 skip. Hold on, hold on. This counts as the aisle, right? What? These snacks? No, this no, is our this baby food. Aisle. Come, no, come on. on. Come on. Just like we're not going to get pet food either. That's food, but it's pet food. Yeah, we won't get any of that. Ooh, this food. Oh, now this is going to be different for prices. So we've got one side, it's like tea and coffee, and the other side, snack bars. Can you really have half of an aisle dedicated to snack bars? <laughs> you can. Well, this side I'm not going to look at because that's drinks. True. It's not food. Okay, so snack. Oh, biscuits as well. Come Stuff on, to go with tea and coffee. Biscuits, biscuits, biscuits. Rich tea biscuits. Where are They're they? They're normally really cheap. Where are they? I don't know. Or water biscuits, which are £1.10. Oats cakes, £1. I found these for 55p, cream crackers. Cream crackers for 55p, that good might spot. Take it. it might. This isn't the biscuit aisle. This is only crackers. I think there's another aisle with biscuits, so. I've never seen you so serious <laughs> talking about biscuits. <laughs> Actually, there are some biscuits it's here. Some. So it's probably those cream crackers, right? 55p. Now we are in the biscuit and chocolate aisle. Lots of sweet stuff. We think we might have found it already with the bourbons. Uh, oh, wait, really? 43 oh, 43. What was the ones you just had there? I had those rich, rich tea biscuits. I thought they That's would be that. cheapest, but they're 45p. It's got and the bourbons, you though. Loads of sweets here, but what sort of prices are these? All 70p? Yeah, none of these packs of sweets or chocolates are cheaper. Sometimes you get like a lolly or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You seem to know a lot about this aisle. So bourbons, the cheapest, right? Yep, Release in. the bourbons. I've started to think about what we could make with what we have so far. And I'm thinking <laughs> roasted garlic and carrot puree on crackers with a squidge of lime on top. This is how my mind works. And then bourbons for dessert. <laughs> That's what I've got so far. As you can tell from the last few aisles, guys, we're at the snacky end of the store. So we're now onto crisps. We want to find individual bags though, don't we really? because these six packs are going to be pricier than an individual bag. I think I found something. Ah, tortilla chips. So we can dip them in the roasted no. garlic and carrot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are only 57p, so let's see if we can find something cheaper than that. Oh, what was that? 60p. Oh, close. a pack of nuts. How much were these again? 57. Ah. I thought a pack of nuts could be the cheapest thing, so I'm surprised they're not. Yeah, everything yeah. here is over a pound, Snack. even if it's a club card. Snacks are expensive these days. And then that will be a nice addition to your meal, tortilla chips with carrot dip. Yep. This is where this could get a bit more interesting, guys. We're coming to the frozen sections. Ooh. So this frozen aisle, obviously they have meat, but they have a whole meat-free area. It's really like a bag of chips. Yeah, but that might, that's the other aisle. True. But there's, there might be vegetables here. Or we've got fruit and ice. We're not going to get a bag of ice because that's like water. It's not that's food. That's basically just frozen water. It's not food. It's, it's not, not ice. It's not food. So you've got all the meat-free products here. What's that for £1.19? Sausage rolls. Okay. That could, that could be. That could but be. they've also got bags of fruit here. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, I'm not seeing anything from less than £1.19. Yeah, all of the fruit, because of the size of the bags, are all about £2 or more. Over here you've got things like pizzas and spring rolls and party foods. But still nothing that's less than 119. Yeah, so it seems we're the cheapest thing we're going to find in this aisle is going to be amongst the frozen meat free stuff. I think it's going to be the sausage rolls. It's that's actually a decent price for four sausage rolls. Yeah, I think it's the same in Lidl's as well. We've got a bit more to go with this dinner now. <laughs> So now the other frozen aisle, we've got desserts down one side and frozen veg. Potato. And frozen potatoes. It's feel like a, a bag. whole aisle of potatoes. I feel like the frozen veg though might be cheapest. Might be, yeah. That's desserts. We've got peas. Audi price match, peas for 80p. That's going to be hard to beat. Come on potatoes, I'd love to get a bag of chips. 
Good on Sainsbury's for their dedication to frozen potatoes. How many different shaped potatoes can you get? However, none of them seem to be cheaper than 80p. You found something. It's the ice cream that we got in Poundland for a pound. How much is it here? 4.50. Oh, what the heck? So that's definitely not the cheapest. No. Oh, wait, guys, 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 look, look, look. Ignore this. Ignore the four pounds. Just get on these. No. <laughs> so it is the frozen veg. Is it that bag of peas? Is it? Yeah. Eighty p. This meal is coming together. It's not like roast dinner. So guys, that is one side of the store done. All the aisles on that side. Although most of them weren't even food aisles. So now we're going to come down the other side where there's a lot more food. We're missing out the first few because they're alcohol and drinks. Same with this one. And this is the first food aisle, which is cereal. Oats, surely that's got to be the cheapest one. Small bag of oats. Yeah, small bag of oats. What's that, 90p? Yeah, 90p. Or there might be, what if there's those mini cereal bo boxes or something? So we're looking at cereal boxes now. What are these? Choco rice pops. Rice pops, 89p. That, the oats were 90, these are 89. Oh, okay, I thought they were 80, okay. Okay, so that's our lead at the moment. Oh, I found some of these rice pops for 85p. Oh, okay, we're getting lower and lower. This feels like the limbo of prices. What have you spotted? Ooh, I found some cornflakes for 75p. Wow. That, Surely that's got to be the cheapest. Surely, I think it is. Yeah, I've checked almost everywhere, so... He's taking this seriously. Hang on, hang on, I've seen this. What have you seen? <sighs> no, look, I thought that was 39p. It's 639. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that would be a great deal for a mega pack of Weetabix. Not reduce that much, is it? So the cornflakes are the cheapest. This is going to be interesting. Oils oh, and condiments yeah. Oils. and sauces. Does that, technically, does that count? It's technically food. It's so. food but there yeah. is food down here as well. There's like jars and tins of food as well. Jojo, we're going to need some serious scanning. Mm. So a bottle of ketchup, 90p. Oh, what are these? We've got mustard, some different oh, types of mustard. 55p. The old price match again. Yeah. Might have hit the jackpot here. Really small box of stuffing for 40p. We can't have a roast after all. Hang on. What have you got? I've got gravy for 40p. Can't we get both? We can have a roast. Wait, they're both 40p? Yeah. So lots of these jarred and bottled items or all, all a few pounds each. So very unlikely we're going to find the cheapest there. What do we do then if it's a draw? They're both 40p, the stuffing and the gravy. We have to obviously get both. He's got the dream of a roast out of all of this stuff no, we with sausage rolls. We have to get both. You've got to pick one. Both I would say the stuffing is more food. The gravy's more condiment. True, get the stuffing. <laughs> he wants a rose, calm down. So now we're coming on to, I guess this milk. is like baking stuff yeah, and well. long life milks. I think maybe flour, Jojo. What yeah, look, 45p, yeah. 45p for a small bag of flour. I'd be surprised if you find something cheaper. But we've got to have a good look though, because you can get very small food ingredients for baking like they've got here everywhere like it could be one of these things <laughs> yeah because they do lots of products which are quite small packets mm. that could be cheap like chopped nuts and dried fruits easter eggs however definitely not going to be oh the cheapest God. ones can we, can we get some of that anyway How that does look good oh that looks amazing what is that no way free from chocolate buttons which are they're 45p as well if it was a choice between the two, what would we pick, I wonder? These, these, <laughs> these, 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 these. Yeah, well, we're not sure yet, though. So keep looking. There could be okay. something cheaper still in this aisle as well. It's all free from stuff as well, which in general doesn't tend to be the cheapest. No. However, those chocolate buttons were. Yeah, they were, yeah. Cereal as well, but yeah, way more expensive than the other aisles. So we made the decision for going with the small bag of flour. I guess that makes sense. It's more substantial food item and we can make yorkshire puddings to go with the roast <laughs> the roast yeah how come we didn't get the gravy though either calm down we couldn't get both right Ooh, what's this tinned thing? food and bread cakes i would be oh you found something reduced 34p for a loaf i found this for 34p as well what's peach that slices. peach slices because i thought a tin of something might be the cheapest all these bags of nuts and dried fruit and on this side you've got lots of cakes and cookies and things like that doubt any of those would be cheapest so at the moment the bread or the peach slices just looking amongst all of the jam because normally a basic store brand jam could be cheap just seen this one down here it's 39p LD price match still 
not cheaper mm. than the bread. Oh, donuts are 45p each. That's a good point, though. Sometimes a bread roll on its own is 30p or so. I was looking for the jelly, I was looking at jelly because. Years ago, you could get a pack of jelly for about 20p. Do you remember that? I think the emphasis was on the point when you said years ago. <laughs> okay, so we've got a choice of the bread or the peach slices. Look, I've got an idea. We're probably, on the next aisle, there's loads of bread. So I reckon we're probably going to get some sort of breaded item there. So why don't we get the peach slices to compensate? Good idea. It's good logic, Jojo. Okay, in the bread aisle, let's see if your theory comes through. Reduced loaves as well, 59p. I bet you can get a really small loaf reduced as well for less. Oh, you found one? Oh, the one at the bottom there, 45p. Yeah, or this That's... one. This one's 45 as well. Brown this bread. is the same sort of one that was reduced in the previous aisle for 34p. Yeah. This is where you might find one of those individual rolls for a cheap ciabatta roll, 40p. These or... ones are 40 I feel like sometimes you can get a pack of crumpets for something like 35, 40p. I already looked for the crumpets. You've gone ahead and already looked. 45. 45p, but not cheaper than that 40p roll. Are you going to cry about every single thing you can't get? But they're crumpets. I feel like the bread aisle is in general, on average, the cheapest aisle. Yeah, yeah. There's rarely an item that's over two pounds and so much, that's under one pounds. So, are we talking about one bread roll? Yeah. One of these looks the biggest, best value. Yeah. This aisle is gonna be proper interesting. Oh, this, this is, is the world foods one. You this, get such you get such random and different foods here. This is my favorite aisle. Really? So yeah, all kinds of food and lots of different prices. So what are these up here? 90p, it's like ground herbs, ginger powder. We have curries a lot, so if we did get one of these, it would be well used. Oh, what's this? Noodles, Noodles. 45p, same there as well. This will go well with our dinner, Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> That's roast like, isn't it? Oh, found some cheaper items, 40p. Is there like packet mixes? Spicy packet mixes? Oh, bay leaves? This is a fantastic aisle if you're someone on a budget because they always have rice, um, in bulk and dried beans, like they have two, three kilogram bags, a lot cheaper than you would find them on other aisles. So it's always worth looking down here. You found something else cheaper. Looking at tins. They've obviously got all the dried beans at the bottom, but they've got tinned beans, 45. Nothing cheaper than 40 though. I think that's the cheapest item. I actually do use these as well when I make curries and things like that. They really give a really nice flavor. Yeah, I'm happy about that. So on to the next aisle, come on guys. However, I'm just gonna warn you, there's quite a few people down there. Yeah. And this warning is mostly for you because we have to go down there and there's something there which you might feel excited about, Jojo. Oh, no. Get back, get back. Let's go, it's the beans. <laughs> However, Jojo, with all your excitement might be due because they might be the cheapest thing here. <gasps> Store brand and a small tin. Oh, I've seen something there. Oh. 19p. I mean, it's not for one of those, is it? The big ones. 19p. Just yeah. 400 grams. The label's coming off. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But it's 19p. That's got so. to be the cheapest. Yeah, and then the smaller ones are like 22p. That's crazy. Let's keep looking, though. Let's not be too hasty. Okay. We've only just stepped in the aisle. So this is what I was talking about. I thought these would be the cheapest. Yeah. 26p. 19p, that's our cheapest product, yeah. Compared to that, I think all of the other side here with the rice packets, I don't think that's gonna beat it. Pasta though, might? Well, no, normally pasta's always over 20p. Spaghetti. It's always spaghetti, it's the cheapest. Oh my goodness, Katie, this might be the first ever shopping challenge we do when we don't get pasta. No, 56. 56p. I found here, cannelloni. 37. 37. That's pretty good. Otherwise, other tins might be the best option. Tin tomatoes are normally cheap. These ones are 35p. Oh, yeah. You're looking at tin potatoes. Yeah, already cooked ones that are in the tin. You just have to heat them up. They're 37. Hey, guys, look, I found a pot noodle for 10p. You're kidding me. No way is a pot noodle for 10p. It's £1.40. <laughs> you can't just throw it in. You're not allowed near pot noodles right. ever again. But we are going with these, even though I don't know what's going on with this label. But... We should get a reduction even further. No, we should. I mean, it's look, it's gone completely. You've got to stick it on there. They won't know what it is. So that's for 19p. Only a few more aisles left. We've come to recipe sauces and 
things. Okay, this is going to be interesting because these things don't tend to be cheap. You've got packet sauces, which are like 60p. On the other side, we've got drinks, so that's not even been included. Yeah, lots of spices and sauces. The sort of stuff that will go perfect with cornflakes and carrots. There's something here for 50p. Oh my goodness, this is the last one of the pack. She's All had right. to get on her knees. Okay, what is it? Pasta sauce. Katie, I'm admiring your commitment to get on your knees to get this product. I think that's bound to be the cheapest. 50p, yeah. Yeah, all the other jars and sauces here are like two to three pounds. So yeah, I think that one is the cheapest. So now we're talking about cheeses and yogurts from the free from section. Oh, also some other things which aren't cheese or yogurts, like pizzas, random products. I reckon a small pot of Outpro yogurt could probably be the cheapest. If we find it down here, yeah. Otherwise, you're looking at little desserts and cheese. Everything here, a couple of pounds though. This could actually be the most expensive item we get. I think at the moment, 220 for some variety of cheese or yogurt. However, there is a vanilla rice pudding here, which is two pounds, and that's on the nectar price. However, I've just found this. A vegan garlic spreadable spread. spread. That's only a pound. Oh, I did not expect to find that. I think that is the cheapest item, yeah. I can go on the crackers. Yes. So this one, lots soups. Oh, yeah. hummus. That might be one. Yeah, lots of different things down there. Yeah, pastries, lots of different items. Quite a mixed bag. Joe just seems to be zooming off like he knows something. What are you zooming off to there? Is that where's that hummus? I think we passed it, mate. Oh, did it? Coleslaw for one twenty-five. How much is hummus? That's normally like eighty p or something, oh, right? Eighty-nine p. Oh. Eighty-nine p for that hummus. Yeah, that's surely got to be the cheapest at the moment. There seems to be like a random area of reduced items, but none of them seem to be less than eighty-nine p. So hummus it is. I'm noticing an orange theme with our trolley. <laughs> Why is that? So we've got two more aisles left, guys. So this is mostly a meat aisle, but there is a meat-free section over here. So I think this is where we'd find our cheapest thing. It's probably best to look for nectar prices or red labels. We just found one here, a pound, for these meat-free fridge oh, raiders. The yeah, they're just like little snacks. I just found a pizza base for £1.25. Oh. We can make a carrot and hummus Pizza. They're not the cheapest. What's the cheapest? The things we just found are a pound. Right, okay. I don't think you're going to beat this for a pound. We come to the last aisle, which is all meat and fish, but we've just noticed this sushi area. On the end of the aisle. Yeah, and they do have various products. Isn't that what you have? Little sushi dishes. So these might be the cheapest ones, and they're 2 95 Seaweed crisps. Ah, oh, I remember having these before, they're nice. Yeah, I love those. £1.35 for a pack. Question is then, which flavour? I like these ones, salt and vinegar. Yeah, okay, salt and vinegar. This has been a lot of fun, hasn't it? <laughs> so we have gone down every aisle and we have found the cheapest item in every single aisle. But now it's a case of getting home, not only seeing what we have and who's got the closest to the total, but can we actually make any kind of meals out of this food? Wow, guys, this was such a unique shopping challenge. I've never gone around a supermarket with such a unique restriction like this. Yeah, I didn't think that you could get things that as cheap as some of the things we got. I think the cheapest item we got there was, was it the peach slices, 19p? Spaghetti, 19p. The spaghetti was 19p. Yeah. And the most expensive one, I'm thinking, was it these at £1.19? Yeah. I think so, yeah. So that goes to show you that the most expensive item was £1.19. Right, with regards to meals, we've been giving this a lot of thought and we're going to tonight make a sort of roast dinner with the main thing being these sausage rolls and then we've got roasted carrots, we've got peas. Stuffing? Stuffing. We're going to make Yorkshire puddings with the flour. Oh, we've got roasted garlic as well. We can use that in some way. Yeah. Yeah, we've got the biscuits and the peach slices for dessert. But also we can have a starter. We can have the crackers. Or you, we could have the crackers afterwards. Some people have crackers after dinner. Yeah, with some spreads. Yeah, we've, we've got, got hummus. hummus and we've got this garlic bread as well. So you get a few meals out of this. You could get some breakfast with some cereal. 
Yeah. Obviously, there's better ways our money could have gone further. Yes. Like, We've seen before how far our money can go in these challenges, guys. Yeah, but this was interesting. So thank you, you guys, for telling us to do this challenge. Also, I will tell you that we spent, we were all way off. You were the closest. Only... £12.14. So that's what the total is when you go for the cheapest item from every aisle. Yeah, and the prize is that Jojo and I have to make dinner. For me. The well, one. for all of us. Yeah, well done. Thank you. What was really interesting for me about this is that because we are going per category or per aisle, mm. it goes to show you that there is a cheap item in every category. Yeah. If you guys have enjoyed a video like this, and you're going to love this one up here, so go and watch that one next for more fun. Before you do, though, guys, make sure you always stay free and just keep rising. <laughs>